Well, CEO Tim Cook says the United States should worry about the impact of fake news on the 2020 election. Cook sat down with incoming CBS Evening News anchor and managing editor Nora O'Donnell for an exclusive interview. Here's a clip. We're on the user's side in privacy. We're on the user's side in trying to prevent fake news. And so we curate, and we've always done that. We're not an amplifier for uh, fake news or pitting groups against one another or having porn or all this other kind of stuff. This is not what, what we're about, and we've never been about that. Is Facebook an amplifier for fake news? I think that any kind of property, if you will, that pushes news in, in a way that is not curated. I don't really believe personally that there is a that AI has the power today to d differentiate between what is fake and what is not. And so I worry about any property that today pushes news in a feed. And uh, so what we do with our news product, we're not creating news, but we, we do pick top stories. We have people doing it. And so, so I do worry about the people thinking like machines, not machines thinking like people. Do you worry about what may happen in the next presidential election? Well, <clears throat> yeah, the answer is uh, I worry that the fake news is not under control. And I do worry about, uh, you know, outside forces using it to manipulate people's thoughts and so forth. So, yes, I think we should all be concerned. And joining me now, managing editor and incoming anchor of the Evening News, Nora O'Donnell. Nora, you know, he's the CEO of a major tech company. What do you make of his comments? Well, the most influential, arguably, tech company in the world. And what you hear the CEO, Tim Cook, saying is that um, he's concerned about privacy. I mean, this value that Apple has been talking about, privacy and security, and it extends to a number of different things. On that soundbite and that part of the interview that we just played, uh, uh, in particular about fake news, you hear Tim Cook essentially signaling out, singling out rather, Facebook in a way. You hear he say that they don't, they push news out in that sort of way, that you can't solve the problem with artificial intelligence, that you need people to curate the news. And so I think that was in some ways a dig at Facebook's business model. And all throughout this conference too, we heard uh, Tim, I almost said Tim Apple, which is what the president calls him, <laughs> Tim Cook. Tim Cook talk about privacy and security in a different kind of way. One other interesting innovation that they unveiled is the Apple sign-in. You know how so you go onto a different app and you might be able to sign in through Facebook or your Google account? Well, now you'll be able to sign in through Apple. And that will allow you to have some new security and privacy concerns because they're actually going to establish a pseudonym for your email so you don't have to reveal your private information to those particular apps, which in the past have been siphoning off a bunch of our personal data. You know, we were just talking to someone in the tech world about this uh, just a short time ago. Does he really believe that this will make a difference when it comes to privacy protection for consumers? I think if he didn't believe it would make a difference, he wouldn't do it. Uh, he has been urging Congress to uh, use legislation in order to address some of these privacy and security issues. He says that privacy is a fundamental human right, and he said it, he believes it's one of the top issues for the next century. Think about that. The data that we are providing when we do anything online, do each of us know what these companies are doing with our data? Why don't we as consumers have protections about that? Who's using my data? Who's buying my data? Who's selling my data? Should government get involved in that? There's a lot of forces that think they should. In the meantime, you hear Tim Cook saying, we're gonna get involved. And for the people that use our platform, we're gonna provide them privacy and security. That that's a value that Apple really wants to envelop and use. And certainly as, as some iPhone sales start Start to um, to slow down. You see them offering more services in terms of all these other different services, and so they want to say, "But we'll do it with privacy and security." Mm, Nor you mentioned Congress. I want to ask you about the government. The government may launch an antitrust investigation into big tech companies, not just Apple, but a wide range of them. You were with Tim Cook during this announcement. What did he have to say about that? Right. I mean, front page news, right? Breaking news that not only the government, uh, but also Congress, um, in terms of the Justice Department and then Congress, may start looking into whether uh, 
big tech is too large. You've already heard it on the presidential campaign trail from Elizabeth Warren suggesting that these companies have too much power, that they should be broken up. So just as that news was breaking, I was sitting down with Tim Cook and I did ask him about that and said, is Apple too big? And he said no. But at the same time, he said, I think we do deserve some scrutiny. And that's okay with him, he says, because Apple is not a monopoly. He said they don't even have essentially a monopoly on market share. The, he said that the amount of iPhone users in the United States are in the upper 30s. We know worldwide that Samsung has the largest smartphones in the world. So he's saying we're not a monopoly, and he doesn't believe that this company is too big. Mm, you know, Nora, I'm curious. You had such a long interview with him. What else did he say? What else can we look forward to on the evening news tonight? Well, lots to look forward to on the CBS Evening News. It was a wide-ranging discussion with uh, Tim Cook. Not only the privacy issues, the security issues, but also some of the new features, including a dark mode and screen time. It's the issue I know as moms <laughs> we care deeply about. Anybody out there, screen time. So Apple has made some changes in terms of apps that regulate screen time. Uh, he talks about his own personal screen time and how we can limit that. And as he said, we didn't create the iPhone so that people would use more of it. We created the iPhone to help people. But I don't know about you, but it's certainly the issue we all care deeply about um, in terms of spending less time on our phone and using it in a way that's productive but not distracting. You know, it is an issue. And do you know that Tim Cook actually, excuse me, not Tim Cook, uh, the founder uh, of Apple, actually did allow his own kids, Steve Jobs, to use the iPad, so which tells you exactly uh, an interesting fact about that company in and of itself. Hey, Nora, but before you go, I've got to ask you one thing. I know that you can crush it on the tennis court, on the golf court, golf course, and also running, but somebody told me that when you did this interview, you challenged Tim Cook to a bowling match using augmented reality. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, uh, Tim Cook believes that augmented reality is the future, that it is going to change the way we do anything. And so you can now use AR essentially to do bowling. And so we did, we played a game, uh, which was a lot of fun. You actually see a giant ball yeah. jump up and then you can push the ball using the iPad in order to hit the bowling pins. And let's just say I lost. I think I won one game and he won either two or three against me. And as a competitive person, it was difficult to lose, but I said, I get it. It's your company. It's your software. <laughs> but I think it's hopefully it's an illustration of really how not only, um, you know, how AR essentially will change the way we do not only how we shop online, but also how we play games online. Well, honey, it did not look like you lost in that match. Let me tell you, you brought it. You brought it as you do with everything. Nora O'Donnell joining us from thank San you. Francisco. Nora, thank you very much. And just thank a reminder, you. You, you, can, you. you can see more of Nora's interview with Tim Cook tonight on the CBS Evening News.